the Sonova Phonak booth with Helena Rydell, and she's got a banner behind her that says Assistive Listening Devices for College. Tell us about this, Helena. Well, it's uh, definitely assisted listening devices that would help students that's hard of hearing and also students with autism and auditory processing disorder. It would help them focusing in the classroom. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Now, you're holding, this is audio and vi video, by the way, so I'll be describing as well as you what it is you're holding. So okay. what do you have in your hand there? Okay, I have a Roger Pen that is one of our most popular microphones for the schools. And it, it is a directional microphone that you can either clip to the clothing or hang around your neck. It's also an interview style microphone where you can hold it in front of the person that is talking and it helps the students that's hard of hearing. Also, you can put it on the table and it becomes a table microphone and it's, it picks up six feet omni. So oh, wow. So I'm looking at this thing. It just looks like a pen. Right. It's, got a, it's got a clip on the back, so that's where you just clip it onto your, onto your clothing. Right. And I can see a micro USB uh, uh, port on the other end and a couple of buttons. That's right. very elegant looking. Right. It doesn't look janky, you know, no. it just looks nice. It looks smooth. It looks, yeah. And it's very simple right. for, for the teachers. They don't want clunky big things and hanging. Or like around. this giant microphone I'm shoving in your face, right? It's a lot more subtle than that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, no problem. Okay, so, so that's the microphone. Now, right. what's the rest of this? Okay, the rest of it, then we have, then we have a Roger, Roger Select. And the Roger Select is one of our microphones that you also can hang as a directional microphone. So this is a cylinder, or is, is a small circular device, I don't know, smaller than the bottom of a teacup, I would call right. it, in right. diameter. And it's got six microphones, so when you put, put it on the table, when you put it on the table, you can see here if you put it on. She's turning it on right now, so it's got six little slots. Oh, he's got one turned on over here. It's bright green. So right now it's picking up all in our direction. It can detect who is speaking. Oh, okay. Uh, and it will focus um, on me right now if I'm talking. If you're talking, we'll notice that I know where you the microphone that I directed at you. Oh, I see what's going on. Christian Vogler has joined us to help uh, in the conversation here. Oh, okay, with your cochlear implant? Okay, cool. Now, we've got two microphones going, but how are we hearing? Oh, and you can, you, it's a multi-talker network, so you can connect several microphones to the receiver, and you will still hear. So what is the receiver? The receiver is this. Okay, I'm going to shut this off got to save batteries. This was is the one of the receivers we have. It's a MyLink and it, it's got a neck loop and the neck loop will connect with the T coil in the hearing aid. Oh, I see. So this is a, this is a separate receiver that, will that receives transmit, that transmits up to the to my, the my microphone. And it also have a, a, an outlet for headsets. So you can, if you don't have hearing aids, or if you, for example, don't have T-coil, and you, you can't use the ear level receiver, another ear level receiver we have, then you can use headphones. Oh, I see. And uh, like you were saying, for people with autism, right. they might not be hard of hearing, but they need the help focusing. They could just use headphones. Right, ex exactly. They can use. And we have for autism and auditory processing disorder, we have another receiver that looks like a hearing aid, but it is a receiver, but we don't have it here to show it. So that, that's one of them. I see. I see. Now, Christian, so um, you've got these, uh, can hear from these microphones, you said, to your cochlear implant. But, uh, so you're not using one of these, uh, the receiver? Well, I wouldn't do this normally because the cochlear implant um, process has to be seen by bed in, and the wireless connectivity is much more robust than using a neck loop. A neck loop um, is susceptible to electromagnetic interference. It's probably not a problem here, but for instance, if I go into the metro in my home city or have an old home that has unfeated electrical wires, that wouldn't work particularly well, but this does with the direct connect. Okay, so, so you're saying that the, uh, this, this transmitter receiver would run into problems, but you can hear directly from these, these tiny directional microphones into your cochlear implant directly. Is that, did I understand um, that to, It actually has a small receiver in here. Oh, now he's taking it off, showing it to us. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that's the process, yeah. that's the battery, uh, that's um, the part that the receiver that connects it to this. So you could take it off and put it on somewhere else too. Oh wow, that's crazy. We're getting we're getting a, a full uh, multimedia demonstration here <laughs> on the fly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's that's the Roger selects and it transmits into his ear level receiver. That's so, great. Now I'm hearing a lot of different company names here, so I'm getting a little confused. Roger makes the the microphones. Right. That's the technology. The Roger is the technology. I see. I and, see. And Sonova owns. Phonak and Audio Advanced uh, Bionic and Unitron. So they are a big. Oh no, big she's adding umbrella. company names. I'm losing. Yeah. Okay, so Phonak is the company we're caring about here, and they're using right. the Roger technology. Right. right exactly. Okay, this is very good. So if somebody, if somebody, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I stole his. Uh, so if somebody wanted to learn more about these uh, for the, the hearing impaired and those with trouble focusing, where would they go? Well, if they're a, at the school, the uh, disability coordinator will help the students and we can help them out by giving them a trial period so they can students can try it and see if they like it or if it works for them. But, uh, for example, if it is a consumer, then they need to go to an audiologist. Oh, I see. So you would get this from an audiologist. Yeah, exactly, right? exactly. Okay, so if they want to see these products, is there a website they can look at, though? Yes, uh, that, it's morethanahearingaid.com. Morethanahearingaid.com. Yes. All right, great. Thank you very much. Thank this was you. great. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Christian. I'm sorry? Thank you. Oh, so you're welcome. So, you know, I'll tell you another cool thing. So, you know, there's a lot of noise here, right? Yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. So, with this, and with this combined, I can hear you all of the voices very, very clearly about the noise. It's really easy to hear you even from a distance. So you might be hearing us better than I'm hearing you. Well, so uh, I'm not sure about that. Your voice sounds clear to me, but um, I don't hear the voice the same way here in person would. So I'm not as good as at understanding things that, as you are. So well, I do, we can't trade ears to compare, can we? <laughs> All right, well, thanks for your assistance on this, though, Christian. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you.